Um, let's move on to this one. So big up everybody tuning in for the, for the live stream. Appreciate it. if you enjoyed what you're seeing. Make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you smash the fucking like button. So quickly want to talk about this regarding this lady called Claudine Gay resigns as Harvard University president. I find this story kind of fascinating because I still haven't figured out why she got why she resigned or what actually she plagiarized was it her entire like education career like what actually happened to lead her to resign because this is pretty wild to be fair it's courtesy of bbc it says harvard university president has resigned after facing allegations of plagiarism and criticism over her comments about anti-semitism on the campus claudine gay had faced mounting pressure to step down in recent weeks in a letter announcing her resignation she said it was in the best interest of the university to go it has been a distressing it has been distressing to have doubt cast on my commitments to confronting hate and upholding scholarly rigor this is not a decision i came to easily indeed it has been a difficult beyond rewards and um, focus on the institution rather than the individual she said that she had been subjected to personal threats and racial an animus the 53 year old served as a president for six months and was the first black person and second woman to be appointed the lead of the ivy league university her tenure was the shortest <laughs> oh i feel so bad for her tenure was the shortest in its 388 year history harvard is one of the several universities in the u.s accused of failing to protect its jewish students following the outbreak of israel hamas war in october jewish groups have reported an alarming rise in anti-semitic incidents in the u.s since the conflict has um, begun can you imagine the amount of universities in the u.s especially that jewish kids are having absolute they're getting absolutely you know they're getting absolutely destroyed on campus can you imagine how crazy it must be because obviously you know jewish people are very intelligent anyway right they they, they 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 care a lot about education and shit so can you imagine the amount of them that go to uni and you know the the crazy situation that they're having on campus you know essentially trying to defend their people uphold their faith and they're being accused of you know genocide and shit like it must be fucking crazy if you're jewish on on a college campus right now you are literally in one way fighting for your life while your you know while your fellow people are literally <laughs> killing people <laughs> it's crazy um during the tense congressional hearing last month gay said cause for the killing of jews was abhorrent she added however it would depend on the context what that's what she said she said killing jews is abhorrent but sometimes it's okay <laughs> like what she added however that it would depend on the context whether such comments would constitute a violation of harvard's ode of conduct regarding bullying and harassment <gasps> that comment hold on People are upset that she said the context whether such comments would constitute violence. That is so soft. That's what she got fired for. For saying that it's debatable whether or not it's a violation of a code of conduct. God almighty. The comment prompted widespread backlash and she later apologized in an interview with the university student newspaper when words amplified distress and pain. I don't know how I could feel anything but regret. Dozens of politicians and high-profile alumni called for her to step down over the comments, but nearly 700 staff members rallied behind her in a letter to the university aide she would keep her job despite the controversy. So she's stepping down as president, but she's somehow keeping the job with the money. Can somebody re figure out how that makes sense? Is that, like a, is that like a reverse privilege thing? Because she's like the first, you know, black woman to do the fucking role. Is that the reason why? Claudine Gay keeps her nearly 900k annual salary despite resigning. So you resign, but you keep your salary. That is pretty crazy, isn't it? Huh. Don't get me wrong. Maybe if you're a president of the Harvard, maybe saying what she said is probably not the most professional thing to say. But I don't see how that could be grounds for you to step down. Like that sounds a bit, or am I being, a, or am I being a little bit too forgiving here? Doesn't that sound a little bit crazy that she had to step down for that? Let's read that one more time. During a tense congressional hearing last month, Gray said calls for killing Jews were abhorrent. So she, she obviously, you know, thinks killing Jews is disgusting. It's it's horrible. She fucking condemns it. Cool. She then added, it would depend on the context whether such comments constitute a violation of. Okay, I get it. Now I kind of get it. If killing Jews is abhorrent, why would the code of conduct, why would the code, why wouldn't, 
why would it depend on the context of how it's said to break the code of conduct? Okay, I kind of get it now. Now I kind of get it. She was being wild. <laughs> she says, killing Jews is abhorrent, but it's debatable whether or not it breaks the code of conduct. Okay, I kind of get it now. I kind of get it. I kind of get it. <laughs> That's a bit crazy. You can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly she hit a lick that Harvard un unemployment is no joke bro she's still getting 900k annual salary while technically being fired yo being being in education or being a tenured professional whatever it, that position is as Koyla mentioned that's big money isn't it that's a job for life basically like you are sorted bro she basically got she basically got fired for gross big conduct in a way for breaking her own code of conduct and she's still getting paid for it big up claudine gay um the article says she won't be leading the crimson but the green shouldn't be the problem outgoing harvard university president claudine gay will still likely earn nearly nine hundred thousand a year despite being forced to resign from her position as the school's top administrator political science professor gay who stepped down amid a tempest um of allegations that she did not do enough to combat anti-semitism and academic plagiarism in tuesday will return at a position as a case Cambridge Mass School faculty. Prior to being named president for just six months, Gay earned $879,000 as a faculty of arts and science dean in 2021 and $824,000 in 2020, according to the records published by the university. To be honest, you know, teachers should be paid a lot anyway in education. So if she's getting this money, cool. I would just like it to be, you know, appropriate across the board. Big up, Austin Casey. I appreciate you. There's a lot more to it. The comment in the hearing was just the start. After that she has been exposed a serial plagiarist. Over 50 plus times in her papers and articles. What? So she's... So, okay, big up Austin Casey. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you for the donation. So you're saying she plagiarized as a student. <laughs> Honestly, I did not say this. Who I said this before? Was I saying this to somebody or did I say it to myself? No, I think I was talking to Dark, Dark Sea The Flow actually on Twitter about it. Um, about that uh, fucking UFC fighter that um, faked his record. I forgot his name, but it, there's a there's a doc, there's a couple of YouTube documentaries on about him, right? Um, he faked his record and got signed by the UFC, and then he got smoked in his first fight. Um, I forgot his fucking name, but there's a documentary about him, right? And I was watching that documentary early, and I was thinking to myself about that guy, and obviously about Brendan, right? Because he's very much somebody I look at as a fake it till you make it, as an example of the American dream, basically getting away with like everything. No, being able to make the most out of life without being that intelligent type of thing, right? And I was thinking to myself, you know what? Maybe the actual key to making it in life is not being a just, honest, truthful person. It's actually telling lies, being deceitful, faking it till you're making it, um, or fake it till you make it is actually maybe the right way to go about things because most people out there are cheating and scamming and lying most people if you think about it they obviously some of them don't get most some of them don't get away and it's high profile and it's used to dissuade you but i think the majority of people out there are really really faking the funk on a daily everyday basis everybody is faking the funk to some extent i think that's actually the way to kind of go about doing life honestly because this woman ascended to the top of the academic field, right? She became the president of a fucking Ivy League college, right? U university, whatever, right? In Harvard. She, uh, she fucking ascended to the top of it. And look what happened to her. She got fired and still got money for it. Amazing. I flipping love it. I absolutely love it. I really, really do. I absolutely, absolutely love it. So I think that's maybe what you're meant to do. That's maybe what you're meant to do. You're maybe meant to ascend and just fake it till you make it right until the end. That's what you're meant to do. Fake it till you make it until the very, very, very end. I think that's the name of the game. Fake it till you make it until the end. Um, let's continue here. Her new position was not specified Tuesday, but she's expected to receive a salary comparable to what was previously received, if not higher. Um, it's not unclear how much of her presidential salary of roughly $1 million gay will be entitled to after only serving in the post for six months. Her predecessor, Lawrence Bacow, poured in $1.3 million 
um, annually before his departure, according to the Carved Crimson. Alan M. Garber, who currently serves as provost and chief academic officer, will serve as interim president until the school selects a new chief official said on Tuesday. Bloody hell. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, big up her, man. She's getting to the fucking bag. Claudine Gay is getting to the fucking bag. Exactly. LOL, big up Andy Ward. Fake it till you make it. You get shadow banned. Exactly. She's getting to the fucking bag, man. She has secured the fucking bag. What an absolute G. I fucking love it. I love every single part of that story. And I hope she makes more and more and more. But the plagiarism stuff is fucking wild. Imagine being a Harvard professor, a Harvard president, sorry. And you have accusations of plagiarism around you. Like, that is wild. Like, legit. That is one of the most wild things you can ever see. Um, House GOP Conference Chairwoman um, Ellis Stefnik a Harvard graduate who emerged as Gay's chief critic ripped at the decision to allow her to remain on the faculty. Stefanik argued that Gay's plagiarism charges are an inde are inde indeniable, indeniable stain that mars the school legitimacy. True. She's not fit to be a faculty member, says Stefanik to the Post. The unacceptable it's unacceptable when you have students at Harvard who would be expelled for plagiarism. Very true. Uh, that's a very good point, actually. I didn't even think about that. To allow a faculty member who has nearly fifty examples of plagiarism <laughs> in their very slim body of academic work is absurd and everybody knows it. Harvard knows it. Is this like reverse privilege? Is she getting that fucking is she getting that because she's black thing they can't fire her because it's bad for optics is that's what's going on here black woman they fire her it's bad for optics again i'm not you know i'm not casting any aspersions but bonus points if she's queer right i don't know if she is but bonus points if she's queer as well black queer woman you know like that's hard that's a hard one to fire you can't fire people like that easy <laughs> jesus christ she's fucking amazing um <laughs> Let's continue. The member of Harvard Student on the Council also accused administrators of having different ethical standards for faculty students. Gays getting off easy, the anonymous student told the school paper, noting the simple omission of a quotation mark or an absent citation could result in a serious consequences, such as one term of probation, the stripping away of a student's good standing status. Following Gay's departure, there are rumblings that the board will publicly stuck by her until the very end should it also be shaken up. Jesus Christ. Fair play, man. Fair play. She's getting to the fucking bag. She's getting to the fucking bag. Okay. Big up Claudine Gay. Big up Claudine Gay. Claudine motherfucking Gay. 